Okay, in this video, I want to show you some tips and tricks that you can take advantage of by making use of your RealView video card. Most SOLIDWORKS users these days have a RealView approved video card, and that enables for some really slick video features that uh, provide for a much more realistic appearance display, but it also has some performance saving features as well. In this example, uh, one thing that we get asked about a lot is how to create a knurled finish on a body. And rather than actually creating little cuts and indentions, uh, which could really bog down the system by creating a lot of unnecessary faces and geometry, the thing to do is just go to your Appearances tab in the Task pane, go to the Steel uh, Metal uh, in the Metal category, go under Steel, and you'll find a number of different metal textures. One of them is a Neural Texture. So all we do is just drag and drop the metal texture on top of the cylindrical surface, and I just want to drop that on a single face. And that texture comes in. Now, it may not be scaled appropriately, so what we want to do is click on that face and choose the Appearance icon, and then just edit the appearance to that face. We can either edit the appearance in terms of the scaling, the color, the mapping in the Property Manager, or you can use the on-screen handles to just dynamically drag and rotate to size and scale that knurled texture. And now that looks really nice and it doesn't cost any overhead on the system because we haven't actually created any geometry. We've just added a textured finish to the model. And sure enough, that'll show up in a drawing as well if we place a shaded view. Let's take a look at another example. In this case, we've got a welded structure and we want to represent a diamond tread plate uh, type of a texture on some of these uh, sheet metal surfaces here. Once again, we can go to our texture library and I'll pick out the stainless steel tread plate and I just drag and drop that onto the appropriate surface and specify that I want that to either go on the face, the body, or the entire part. As in the last example, we can just pick on that face and edit the appearance in order to change the scaling, sizing, location, and whatnot. Here we might change the, the, uh, the, the scaling as well as add some rotation. So you can see that does a really nice job of adding that, that uh, diamond tread plate type of appearance to that face without actually creating any geometry or adding any overhead. Now one special texture that we have that's a real view appearance you'll find not in the steel category under metals but rather if you go down to the miscellaneous category and go to real view appearances only you'll find an option for a cosmetic hole pattern. Cosmetic hole patterns are very useful when you have large objects that have an immense number of holes like a perforated plate for example. So I'll double click on the hole pattern and then I'll just go pick on this face as my hole pattern boundary and then by specifying the spacing of my holes, the size of the holes, and I even have some different seed shapes that I can use, circle, square, diamond, and so forth, I can create a cosmetic pattern of holes on that plate without actually adding to any, uh, without actually adding any geometry. And we can actually even see through that plate because all we've done is just added a visual pattern to that body. And so that's just done with the real view texture with the cosmetic hole pattern. And that too will show up in a drawing. One last example I want to take a look at is to use a chain link texture. So here I have some grass and I have this surface body. We can go again under our metal textures, under steel, and if I just scroll through the list of textures, here's my chain link and I'll just drag and drop that onto the face and just that easily I can create that transparent image of that chain link. I haven't added any geometry, I've just added a texture and this is great because it still allows me to see through the model so giving me a, a whole lot of realism without adding a much uh, overhead to the model itself. So those are some, some good examples right there of using real view textures to convey realism on your models.